My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. You're welcome to episode number 19 of the 120 Days to Jump Physics with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be saying bye bye to questions under electrical energy and power. So far, we've looked at a lot of questions under electrical energy and power and the way you should attend them. And you notice that I took time to solve a lot of questions to strengthen your hands, to strengthen your calculation. So here, I will be a little bit faster. The aim is to teach you how to solve any type of questions and how they come. Yes, it is. The cost of running a 5 6 watts lamps and 400 watts lamps for 20 hours. If electrical energy costs 10 Naira per kilowatt hour is dash. Kilowatt hours cost is one unit cost. I told you that one unit is the same thing as one kilowatt hour, which is energy. And here they are saying that one unit costs 10 Naira. So how much does the person having all these lamps spend on power? To know how much, we need to know how many units this person is consuming. If we know the unit the person is consuming, and we multiply it by 10 Naira, which is cost per unit, we therefore know how much this person is spending. And I told you that for commercial purpose or for business, like we see here, the power must be in kilowatt, energy must be in kilowatt hour. So this person is running five six watts lamp. So we have six watts lamp times five, and we have hundred watts lamps times four. Four hundred watts lamp. For hundred watts lamp, we have four. So now six times five, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. If I'm correct, 60 watts rather. The question is not so correct. The 6 watts lamp is 60 watts lamp. This person has 5 60 watts lamp and 400 watts lamp. So, 60 times 5, this will give you 300 watts. This is for the 60 watts lamp. And 4 times 100 watts is equals. 400 watts so this person is having lamps consuming up to 300 watts and another set of lamps consuming 400 watts which means the total power in this house is 300 watts plus 400 watts this is 700 watts so if I convert this power to kilowatts it is 700 divided by 1000 so that will give you 0.7 kilowatt power must be in kilowatt for commercial purpose let me re-emphasize this person has 5 60 watts lamp leave the 6 watts there is 60 watts but if any value it is you can always solve but if we solve with 6 watts the question won't be correct because the real uh, question is 60 watts lamp and this person has 400 watts lamp so for the 400 watts lamp the power consumed 400 watts for the 560 watts bulb power consumed is 300 watts so when you add up the total power is 700 watts and we convert to kilowatt by dividing by 1000 so you are getting 0.7 kilowatt this is the power the person is consuming and this person is consuming this power for 20 hours so time is 20 hours time is already in hours so we don't need to do anything for commercial purpose time must always be time must be in hours i think food is ready the purpose of gathering all this is to solve for the energy so the energy consumed is power times time and this is 0 0.7 times 20. this is the total energy and that should give us 14 kilowatt hour 
if 14 kilowatt hour is the energy consumed, and we are told that the energy costs 10 naira per kilowatt hour or 10 naira per unit, so the cost of this person running all the power is this energy times the cost per unit. So 14 kilowatt hour times 10 naira, that will give you 140 naira, if I'm correct. So that is the cost of running the electricity for this person. Now, if you in any way got confused about the previous question, check this out. A house has 10 40 watts and 500 watts bulb. A house has 10 40 watts and 500 watts bulbs. So for 40 watts, we have 10. For 100 watts, we have 5. So this would be 400 watts. For the 100 watts, that is 500 watts. The total power that is being consumed by this person is P is 400 watts plus 500 watts. This is equals 900 watts. 900 watts. And for commercial purposes, we convert to kilowatt. This will give you 0 0.9 kilowatts. So they said, how much will it cost the owner of the house to keep them lit for 10 hours if the cost of a unit is 5 naira? So here, the cost of a unit is now 5 naira. So how long will it take this person to manage this thing for 10 hours? That is the energy that is needed for that 10 hours is power 0 0.9 times time that is 10 hour this will give you 9 kilowatt hour 9 kilowatt hour is the energy that is required so if you multiply this energy times how much per unit it will be 9 times 5 so 9 times 5 is 45 naira. that is the cost the person will need to manage this electricity if the charge of electricity per kilowatt is 4 naira. what is the cost of operating an electrical appliance rated 2 volts 2 amp for 6 hours so okay let me leave this i want to compare something for you the ones we've been solving since or the questions we've been looking at since you notice that we are given the power we are always given the rating, then we look for the power. But for this particular one, they are not giving us the power directly. Instead of giving us power, they are giving us voltage and current. But this should not con confuse us, because we know that energy is power and time. And we also know that power is current times voltage. So instead of P, we say current times voltage times time. This is another formula. For electrical energy when you are not given the power but you have the current and voltage you simply say energy is current times voltage times time in this our case current is 2 ampere voltage is 2.5 volt so 2 ampere times 2.5 volt is your power the time is 6 hours so when you multiply you are definitely going to get your energy to be 30 watts hour and the cost of one is four naira so 30 watt hour times four is definitely what you are going to get in the process of the process of the process but there is a problem the problem is that this power we got by multiplying two times 2.5 is in watts it's in watts so we convert it to kilowatt hour when you convert your power, which is 5.0 to kilowatts, you're definitely going to get 0 0.005. That's power in kilowatts. When you multiply that by 6, you are going to get the answer and the answer, 0 0.03 kilowatt hour. And when you multiply that by 4, you are going to get 0 0.12 naira. So, whether you are confused or not, solve the current time voltage 2 times 2.5 the answer you get that should give you 5 divided by 1000 that is power 
a kilowatt. But multiply by the time, six hours. So that, is, that will give you the energy. Then you multiply the energy by the cost per unit, which is four naira. So you are going to get 0 0.12 naira. An electric heater with a PD of 240 volts connected across its terminal has a total resistance of 960 ohms. Find the power rating of the heater. We have voltage and we have the resistance. The formula connecting power, voltage and resistance is P equals V squared over R. P is equals V squared over R. So if you apply this formula, we are going to get 60 watts as your power. So that is also very easy. Then the next one, an electric bulb is labeled 260 volts, 80 watts. How much current is taken by the bulb? We have the voltage, we have the power. So power is IV, current times voltage. Like you see here, IV is power. So if power is current times voltage, and we have our power, and we have our voltage, current will be power divided by voltage, and that will give you 0 0.31 ampere. Then electric ion is rated 1000 watts, 230 volts. What is the resistance of the element? A formula connecting power, voltage, and resistance is P equals V squared over R. So resistance is voltage squared divided by power. As simple as ABC. You don't need to do much. Then a 1.2 kilowatts immersion heater is connected to a voltage supply of 240 volts. We have the power, we have the voltage. The resistance of the heater element and the current drawn by the heater are we are looking for resistance and current. We have our power. Since we are not dealing with business or commercial electricity, power is okay in watts. So we convert the 1.2 kilowatts to watts to give you 1,200 watts. Now the voltage is 240 volts. The resistance is unknown. The current is unknown. But we know that from power, Power is voltage square over resistance. So we have the power to be 1200 watts. We have the voltage to be 240 volts. If you make resistance subject formula, you are going to get voltage square, 240 square, divided by power, divided by 1200. That will give you 48 ohms for the resistance. Then to find the, what else are we looking for? To find the current, V, is equals I arrow from Ohm's law. You have your voltage to be 240 volts. You have your resistance to be 48 ohms. So current will be voltage over resistance, 240 divided by 48. If you are wise, the way I'm saying it, be writing them out and be solving, you are going to get exactly the answer. Exactly the answer. And a bread toaster uses a current of four ampere when plugged in a 240 volt line. It takes one minute to toast, sli to, to toast slices of bread. What is the energy consumed by the toaster? Energy is power times time. But in this case, we are not given power, but we are given current and voltage. If you are given current and voltage, it is the same thing as power, because power is current times voltage. So your energy becomes current times voltage times time. Current is or voltage is 240 volts and time is 60 seconds since your energy is in joules meaning all these units are correct you don't need to put time in hours or do any special thing just multiply current of 4 voltage of um, 240 time of 1 minute that is 60 seconds make 1 minute 4 times 240 times 60 you are definitely going to get your and sa. Okay, a working electric motor takes a current of 1.5 ampere when the potential difference across it is 240 volts. What is the efficiency? Okay, its efficiency is 80%. 
find the power output. In terms of power, efficiency is power output over power input times 100. Even for your simple machines, efficiency is power output over power input times 100. Now that power that I told you that P is equals current times voltage, that power that I told you that P is equals current times voltage, it is your power input. So if power input is current times voltage, efficiency is 80%. Now write 80% is equals power output over current times voltage, everything times 100. So that will give you a power output of 80%. 0 0.8 times or uh, 80 times 250 times 1.5 that's over 100 it will give you 300 watts ladies and gentlemen that is it so i just introduce you to a lot of questions a lot of questions similar to what we have done so from the previous ones we are give detailed explanations and the earlier in this episode you should know what to do and as I'm reading them out, if you don't understand or fast enough, just write out everything I am saying. You are going to get the same question, the same answer like I got. That is it for this episode. And see you in the next episode.